What's going on everybody? Today we're installing a catless test pipe in my friend's 2010 Audi A4. He's already done an enlarged uh, resonator deleted down pipe from here. So this is the test pipe and the section beyond there has already been done. It's the resonator delete section. This is catless so after this he'll make all the torque and all the horsepower. Uh, it should be a pretty easy install. Let's get into it. So first we gotta take out our air intake box. Nice. We've already taken off one of the heat shields, but we're trying to get to this catless, this catted pipe right here. You have to disconnect your O2s. There's one at the back as well, the secondary one back there. And then we got to start getting the bottom side of the exhaust off. So that means we got to take the under tray off. But then the main goal is getting these bolts here that connect turbo housing to catted pipe. Oh, she's hot. To get the under tray off, we have like two T25s. Uh, some Phillips head things at the front over here and well some special Audi fasteners These are the three bolts that hold the non-resonated downpipe to the catted pipe There's this one bolt on the top here. It's hard to see right up here And that's like the worst bolt on this car So we're gonna try and drop the exhaust off the entire thing including the cat pipe to make it easier to get at these three bolts this front O2 is very accessible, easy to get. You'll have no problems. The real struggles with the rear O2 sensor. To get the secondary O2 sensor, we used an O2 socket offset socket going to a long 3 8 and we had to remove and slide around some of the hard lines here, like just had to get them out of their bracket so the wrench had some more room to get down and get there. It's possible, one click at a time, you'll get it. To get your downstream O2 sensor, you gotta unplug the clip down here and then you gotta get it out of its bracket. There you go. Oh yeah. Perfect. We need to get to the fourth nut, which is on the opposite side of the turbine housing. There's the two on this side. There's the one on the top. It's the one below that one that my finger's pointing to. It's a bit of a pain to get to. You need a deep 15 and a long extension. We're gonna get the wrench or the ratchet over there with an extension to get to the bottom side of this turbo. This is how you get the lower inside turbo to downpipe bolt. It's about a six inch extension, a three inch extension, and a foot long extension with a universal and a deep 15. Yeah, it's a hell of a stack, but it's the only way to do it. You don't need to drop the whole cat back exhaust, but if you do, it's 13 millimeters. It, it, for us, it was easier because it's a aftermarket custom one piece thing. So it was easier just to drop the whole thing instead of in sections. Get it rolling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, it's light. Oh no, same, same length. There we So you gotta basically it goes bolt in from the top. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you caught it! I caught it. Don't even <laughs> worry. I'm holding it. Yeah. And here's your nut. <sighs> okay, it's on. Okay. One more bolt. This is a process. Yeah. You gotta earn those crackle burbles. Mm, yes, give them to me. <laughs> With the exhaust hanging down below, we've already got our resonator delete pipe connected to the rest of our exhaust. Now we're ready to line up the catless pipe to the turbo. Uh, yes, that is good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, we're in place. Just hold there for a second. You can let go. This bolt like, really sucks. Yeah. Grilled cheese with cheese and like a slice of meat or whatever. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh man. Did you put the crackle burble tune on it? I didn't put the crackle tune uh, on it. No. You gotta do it at some point. I will, I will. Give her some revs.
All right, that's a wrap on the Catalyst test pipe install on this 2010 Audi A4. As you saw, we took it for a rip, hit so much torque here, so much more spool. It's a great time. This stage two tune loads up real good. No issues there. It crackles and burbles a little bit more. And this is even without the crackle burble tune. So I can't imagine how many like windows it'll be shattering with the crackle burble tune. It'll be pretty nuts. Pretty challenging job. Well, no, 98% of the bolts are easy. Then there's that one bolt, the fourth turbine housing to Catalyst test pipe bolt that's on the inner engine side at the bottom is a real pain, but use the swivel and a deep 15 and that'll be the solution to your problems. Otherwise, it's a pretty accessible job. Four cylinders leave a lot of room and it's pretty straightforward. As always, when you remove cats, it's possibly making your car not carb emission legal or not gonna pass a vehicle inspection. So always keep your cats with you so that if you get an inspection you have to do one to either get your insurance or an officer issues one, keep it so you can reinstall it. Cats are expensive. I know it's enticing to sell them in the aftermarket, but hold on to them just in case, or at least for a couple years and you know you're safe. As always, thanks for watching. Please smash the like and subscribe button down below. And as always, have a good day.